Coming up, the health secretary says... Matt Hancock apologises for breaching social distancing guidance but says he'll stay in his job. Eat lunchtime news with Lucrezia Millerini. Good afternoon. The Health Secretary has apologised for breaching his own COVID guidance after photographs were published showing him embracing one of his advisers. Matt Hancock said he was very sorry after CCTV images were printed of him in the Sun newspaper in the arms of Gina Colodangelo at the Department of Health in early May. At the time, we were all told two people from different households should remain socially distanced and not to hug. Well, this lunchtime, the Prime Minister is under pressure to sack Mr Hancock after Labour called for him to go. Our political correspondent, Carl Dinnan, has the latest. Well, Carl, a lot of pressure on Mr Hancock. Can he hold on to his job? Well, has the Health Secretary actually broken the law? Well, I... Rescue crews are continuing to pick through the rubble of a collapsed tower block in Miami. Four people have been confirmed to have died and over 150 people are missing after the building came down yesterday. Well, search efforts for them are ongoing today with rescuers tunnelling underneath the rubble to try and reach anyone who may be trapped there. Well, we can go live. Here, there has been a significant rise in cases of the Delta variant of COVID-19, first identified in India. Some travel industry bosses are warning today that the government's expansion of the UK's green travel list doesn't go far enough to help the struggling sector. Now, I did so much uh, for joining me this lunchtime. So first of all, this announcement, some welcome news for the industry. Has it translated into booking? Have you seen a surge for these destinations? This is the a green list, these countries went to a green list, but it's still a green watch list, which could, means, of course, they could turn amber, doesn't it? And plenty of other countries are remaining, as you say, on the amber list, including um, Greece, um, mainland Spain as well, Italy, all major tourist hotspots for Brits. Um, are you finding that people are just put off by this quarantine requirement? So they're, just, they're just not booking this year at all? Uncertainty um, looms, doesn't it? Um, the summer season is disappearing pretty quickly, isn't it? And um, when it comes to the travel companies who you represent, I mean, can they survive another summer like this? Britney Spears says she's been pretending she's OK for two years in an emotional Instagram post to her fans. The pop star is currently engaged in a legal battle against her father who controls her life. Today, she apologised to her fans for social media posts, which she says didn't represent the reality of her life. Joshua Stokes has our report. A&Es are being overwhelmed with children with winter viruses, according to doctors. The Royal College of Paediatrics and Child Health says emergency departments across the UK are seeing record numbers of young children. Most of mild fevers could be treated at home. Joining me now is Dr. And finally, every wedding anniversary is special, but celebrating 71 years married is quite the milestone. After being separated because of the pandemic, 96-year-old Fred Cobbett and his wife Monica renewed their vows at his care home. The ceremony was an intimate one held in front of 12 friends and family, including one of their original bridesmaids. Sangeeta Lal was there too. Mon oh, to Fred and Monica, and that's it. I'm back with the evening news at 6.30. The news where you are follows the national weather. From everyone here, bye-bye. Hello again. Now the main stories in London. An Uber Eats worker said he was left humiliated after he was pinned to the floor by police officers following a 12-hour shift. This more Londoners are being encouraged to get jabbed this weekend with the capital still the worst region in the country for vaccine take-up. Arsenal's former footballer Peter Crouch has promised he'll help save Dulwich Hamlet from financial ruin after being appointed as the club's director. Well, from football to tennis and who better to play on your Wimbledon debut than Novak Djokovic. That is all right time to check out what the weather has in store for the weekend. Here's Amanda with the forecast. And that is all from us for now. Ron Kay is back here with the main programme at six. Until then, enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Bye-bye.
Breaching COVID guidance, not a sackable offence. Matt Hancock says sorry, but keeps his job. Oh. Evening News with Lucrezia Millerini. Good evening. The Health Secretary, Matt Hancock, is clinging on to his job tonight after admitting breaching social distancing rules by kissing an aide he's alleged to have had an affair with. Boris Johnson and senior ministers firmly supported him today, insisting the matter is closed, as the Health Secretary has apologised. But they wouldn't explain why it was OK for Mr Hancock to ignore his own COVID rules. Here's our political correspondent, Libby Vina, on the growing calls for him to go. To the United States now, where 159 people are still missing after a 12-storey building collapsed in Miami. So far, authorities have confirmed four people have died. Among those still unaccounted for is a British woman who is pregnant. A young boy was pulled from the rubble by rescuers in a rare moment of encouragement. From the scene, our US correspondent Emma Murphy has the latest. The Justice Secretary is challenging the Parole Board's controversial decision to release double child killer Colin Pitchfork. He... There were further worrying signs of how quickly the Delta variant of coronavirus is spreading across the UK. New data from the Office for National Statistics suggests infections are at their highest since April. Hospital admissions are also on the rise. Thankfully, the number of deaths remains low, suggesting the vaccine programme is working. There was evidence, too, that recent public test events didn't cause a spike in cases, as our health editor, Emily Morgan, reports. Still to come on the ITV Evening News. Those stories and more after the break. Welcome back. The prices of some foreign holidays have shot up after the government announced changes to travel guidance. Malta and the Balearic Islands are among the destinations put on the green list, which means travellers don't have to quarantine on their return to the UK. And the constant changes are playing havoc with people's hopes of seeing family again, as Geraint Vincent reports. Doctors have advised parents to avoid taking their children to A&E with mild fevers after hospitals reported a surge in young people being seen. Some to the Euros now and Wales will have to face Denmark tomorrow with very few fans able to cheer them on in person. The last 16 ties taking place in Amsterdam and the Dutch have barred non-essential travel from the UK. The few that are going are determined to make their voices heard. Lucy Watson has been following the Welsh team throughout the tournament. The Wimbledon Tennis Championships have been hit by another withdrawal after defending women's champion Simona Halep pulled out at the last minute the Romania. And finally tonight, the elderly couple forced apart during the pandemic, but who are back together for a very special occasion. To mark their 71st wedding anniversary, Monica and Fred Cobbett celebrated by renewing their vows. It was all the more poignant as last year they were on their own. They told Sangeeta Lal about their big day. And that is it. Tom is here at the later time of 20 past 10. For me and the team, bye-bye.